Do you hate hip hop? Do you hate rap music? Well, you just might like it when you listen to this stereo system in this Lexus GX known as the Mark Levinson stereo system. back to the channel. We all have musical genres we hate. And hate is such a strong word, so let's use the phrase uh, strongly disfavor. The bottom line is the same. We have genres that we don't care for, that we don't like. The awesome thing is the Mark Levinson stereo system here proves itself in a way that can only be described as it so good it makes you like genres you don't like and when we talk today about the mark levinson stereo system in the lexus gx 460 and other lexus models as well but particularly in this one when we talk about that stereo system it's hard to uh uh, quantify it and make it objective especially through YouTube I can't possibly and nobody can bring the stereo sound into YouTube it just won't do it's something you have to hear in per in person and so to uh, make this uh, make sense to everybody and uh, demonstrate how awesome it is the best thing I could articulate is it's going to make you want to listen to stuff that you don't like. That's how good it is. That's my subjective test of the quality of a car stereo system. And the Mark Levinson stereo system definitely delivers in that department. Now, back in the day when you got a new car, you had to, one of the first things you had to do was drive it down to the custom shop or the stereo shop, rip out the stock stereo, and put in an aftermarket head unit to get good sound. These days, car manufacturers thankfully have evolved beyond those days and now take audio and car audio very, very seriously. And today, most cars, no matter who the manufacturer is, supply some form of premium audio. In this car, it's Mark Levinson. In the Lexuses, that's it. That is in Toyotas, it's JBL. Then you have other names, Bose, and whatever else. The bottom line is those are premium sound systems, and they're really good. No matter what car you're getting, that premium level sound system really does take it to the next level, because these days, sound engineers work with the automotive engineers to get you the best sound, not just a um, all across the board type of system, but it's customized for whatever vehicle you're in. And that's what you're gonna get in this Lexus. It's a stereo system that is designed for this car and it simply sounds beautiful. Now, how can I get that across to you through YouTube? Well, try to imagine you know, when you see a music producer, you know, videos of them and they've got that big board with, I don't know how many channels, 100 channels, and they got all these switches and, you know, they can control every instrument, the levels of it, the frequency of it, the gain of it, all this sort of thing. The point is, this is there's a lot of separation of components and layers in music production, no matter what genre you're into. And the best way I can describe what you're going to get out of this is the Mark Levinson stereo brings those layers, those channels, all that, that soundboard that you see the producer using with all those switches, it brings that out into the car and into your ears. And it makes for a more rich and defined experience. And when I say rich, I mean in the, in the, you know, in the artistic sense. It's, um, it's very, uh, has a lot of depth, but a lot of separation at the same time. So in a nutshell, it's just good. It's high quality. 
Now, what's the quality difference between the regular stereo and the base model of this Lexus GX460? It's going to be about 30% different from your regular uh, stock or whatever base level, lower trim level stereo. And those stereos, no matter who the manufacturer nowadays, are good. Like we mentioned before, they take car audio serious, even at the, quote, entry level. So the Mark Levinson and the premium systems really take it to, to another 30%. And so this is going to be a thing that you're going to be into if you're into music. Some people are, some people aren't. In general, Americans love music. It's within our culture. It's just what we do. And... If you're the type that appreciates uh, getting the best out of your music, then it's something you're definitely going to want to uh, option for on your Lexus GX460. Reason being is, uh, I truly think it's part of the Lexus experience to have the Mark Levinson stereo. I actually don't know why Lexus uh, doesn't offer it even on the base or entry or whatever model. Um, it should be all across the board because... It is one of those subjective refinements um, that people can tell is uh, higher quality, like I said, 30%, that I think lends to the overall experience of what a luxury car is. It's a collection of nice things, higher quality things, marginal, but they start to add up. And... Um, over time they lead to this collectively better experience so that's just a convoluted way of saying when you listen to your mark levinson stereo you're going to um, enjoy it better and you're going to have a more comfortable day you're going to have a more happy day you're going to have a more positive day and uh, you're just going to feel better so as corny as that sounds that's what it adds up to so if you're down with that, then you definitely want to uh, check out the stereo. No amount of me trying to pump the music through YouTube will get it across to you. Just think of uh, the difference between, let's say, let's say a map, you know, a regular map and a topographical map, you know. It brings that extra dimension out, you know, just a little bit 30% popping out at you. You really do have sound stages and everything popping out. But anyway... To you, that adds up to an overall more comfortable, positive, higher quality experience that I think collectively will make your life better. But it's up for you to decide. All you got to do is go down to Lexus and listen to it for yourself. But I feel that in the long term, let's be honest, you're going to spend a lot of miles and a lot of time. And no matter what you listen to, you're going to love it. And like I said in the beginning of the video... You'll find yourself listening to the genre that you don't like, whether it's country, whether it's rap, whether it's heavy metal, whether it's classical, whether it's jazz, whether it's show tunes, your favorite. <laughs> but you're going to find yourself scrolling through whatever channel you're going through and you're going to say, hey, this sounds really good. I'm not into this type of music, but it's good. That's how good the system is and that's my subjective test for how good a stereo system is. Now, a uh, quick uh, reminder is if you're going to listen to a satellite radio or any type of digital radio format or MP3s or whatever, the point is make sure it's your, your, your sound source, whether it's XM or your MP3 list is of high quality. Digital audio is often compressed and certain frequencies are going to be cut out as a result. So make sure you're listening to a high-fidelity, high-frequency source, such as an old-school CD. If you can't do that, find whatever file. I, I don't know all the files, whether it's a FLAC, F FLAC file, or whatever the, the latest and greatest digital file is, format is for listening to music digitally on your car through Bluetooth. You want to make sure it has that high fidelity so you get the most out of this Mark Levinson serial. There will be a difference that you can hear. But even if you're not that picky, if you just put it on regular XM, whatever quality XM gives out, even through these speakers, it sounds absolutely amazing. So you're going to be happy. So the whole point of this video was to, should you go for it? Yes, you should. Spend the extra whatever. It's only like 
1100 more dollars i guess to get the the mark levinson so go ahead and get that it's going to make that much more difference for how americans live and we know we listen to a lot of music so if you found this video helpful please remember to like and subscribe thank you and have you and have a great day